Can I fill out the rest of it? Oh, no, it's fine. Come on, let me do it. Oh, no, it's, it's totally fine. I know it's fine, but let me just do it. Yeah, I just moved back to my parents' house like last week. Because things are hard. Yeah, things got hard really fast. And finances are tough. Yeah, and I just dropped out of school today. <laughs> can we just pull over there and can we pray for you? Oh, uh, sure. Yesterday, I was watching this video on religion and then I was like, okay, let's give this a try. <laughs> give what a try? Like, going back to church and stuff. And I was like, you know what, if I don't get a sign, <laughs> got 24 hours. High five because this is God's sign. So what were you watching on TV? Moses. The curse of Moses. It's like disobedience and like uh, what to do to reverse the curse. It was like it's a sermon that I was watching about. Yeah. So what's the Lord telling you in all this? You said I, I give you 24 hours if this is real kind of whatever. Yeah, a sign would be nice. So then what happens if God gives you a sign? Which is just what happened. I wasn't thinking that far. <laughs> <laughs> Rich does this to me all the time in the office in Dallas. Richardson. Yep. He likes to ask me really tough questions. Okay. Ooh, I do. I'm going to ask him a tough question because then it's going to bless you. Uh, where and what's the story in the Bible where it talks about when Moses is lifted up, he holds the snake up, he holds a staff up, right? This, it, Yep. Yeah, but then where's the comparison in the New Testament? And the point is, is that it, it's talking about every time you keep your eyes on Jesus, then he says to you, I'm going to take care of you, just like when Moses lifted it up. Let me give this to you, okay? Is that okay? So it's a colorful wristband. If I can give you five verses, five from the Old Testament or five from the New, which one do you want? Probably the old, I'm trying to understand where we came from. Okay, so watch. Ecclesiastes 7, and I apologize, I don't have it underlined. But can you see that well enough to read it? There is certainly no righteous man on the earth who does good and never sins. Okay, so what do you think that means? Nobody's perfect. You got it. So your yellow word means everybody sins. Okay, go to the black. Okay, what one is that? Deuteronomy 24, 16. Okay, so it's right here. Fathers are not to be put to death for their children or children for their fathers. Each person will be put to death for his own sins. According to Moses, okay. mm -hmm. he says, death though only comes because of your sin. So your yellow is sin, and that leads to death. death. Yeah. Okay, go to your red. Now what do you got there? This I is Lev. Okay, Leviticus. Leviticus 17:11. For the life of a creature is in the blood and I have appointed it to you to make atonement atonement on the altar for your lives since it is the lifeblood that makes atonement. So the blood of the animals back then takes away the okay. death and the sin. We go to the blue. Okay, what's it say? Isaiah? Isaiah 53, 5. Yeah. Struck down by God and afflicted, but he was pierced because of our transgressions crushed because of our iniquities, punished for our peace, was on him. And we are And healed. we are healed by his wounds. So the prophet Isaiah says, okay, this is the sacrifices, but now something, a person is gonna come and do this and take it away. Here's the cool part, you have to have faith in the in the blood. Okay, what is that? You got is any that idea? Jeremiah? Yeah, you got it. 31, 33? 31, 33. The Lord's declaration. I will put my teachings within them and write it on their hearts. I will be their God and they will be my people. Right, and then what's the green? It's life. And the life says when you have faith in this person, it's now going to come inside of you. Being at a Christian church, I mean a African Christian church, it was crazy. Like the whole, oh you're pregnant, you can't be here thing. So I cut myself from the church and I kept praying, but I was like, nobody listens. So then I stopped altogether. And then my life started falling apart. So my mom was like, this is the best time to go. I was like, he ain't gonna listen to me. So I was like, you know what? Might as well just give it a shot. And nobody can be casting stones at you. Everybody's in the same boat. Why? Because we're all human, we all sin. But the crazy part is, is we're supposed to extend that forgiveness and say, you know what? 
He forgives you, he gives you hope because you didn't do anything to deserve it. You need to experience true freedom in love and in forgiveness because you've lost your joy. This is as real as you're gonna get. And so your green word is life. If you want life, you wanna experience true joy, you give your life to the Lord. Guess, guess who can wipe away all that pain and that hurt and the shame that you carry? Jesus. You remember your verse? Yeah. What was it? It's John 3, 14. Okay, so you talked about Moses and, and the snakes, right? And all that stuff. It says, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that whoever believes will have eternal life. Well, I asked for an answer. <laughs> Was I ready for it? Probably not. After hearing this, do you believe without a shadow of doubt that Jesus Christ is your Lord? That's a lot to take in, I guess. Here's what I say. You now believe this. Yeah. That's not even a question. No. What you're processing is that God is so big that He'd come and hit you right here at yeah. this place personally. That's what's overwhelming. You've never sensed the presence of God and the love like this before. So about an hour and a half ago, uh, I have a truck that's probably point half a mile from here. It has a water baptism tank on the back of the truck. So that when somebody is ready to say, Jesus, I'm all in, we'll baptize them. It's warm water yeah. in a truck. I even have towels because so I just believe the Lord was going to direct us to somebody today. But I told these guys, I'm not driving the truck around until I find the person. Joy, it's you.